It wasn't that long ago when the Australian or New Zealand dream was to own a three or four bedroom house on a quarter acre suburban block of land, so about 1,000 square metres. This allowed enough space for vegetable gardens, fruit trees and lawns for family recreation, but I would suggest that for most Australians, this dream is dead. Due to rising land prices over the last couple of decades, the dream has become completely unaffordable. For example, a quarter acre block of land in Campbelltown in southwestern Sydney, so about one hour's drive from the CBD, is selling for $830,000. If you want to live closer, well, you can't get a quarter acre block anymore. In Reevesby, so about half an hour from the CBD, a block of land that's about half the size will cost you about the same price. If you want to buy land that's any closer, good luck, it ain't going to happen. Many young Australians have essentially given up on the Australian dream, or perhaps rewritten it. They figured if Australia can't provide them with a house, then the world will become their home. The Australian dream for many millennials has essentially become the ability to travel widely and live and work anywhere but Australia. Thanks to COVID-19, that's no longer possible either. Young Australians have been given a really bum deal. Looking at a map of Australia, and knowing that it only has a population of about 25 million people in a land mass that is 32 times bigger than the entire United Kingdom, which has a much bigger population at about 66 million people, you'd be forgiven for thinking that Australia has lots of cheap, vast, open land. But that's just simply not true. We have essentially lost control of property prices thanks to successive government policy to keep prices high. Throughout Australia, blocks of land are getting smaller and more expensive. Case in point, Logan City, south of Brisbane. Houses built so close in Logan, their roofs and gutters touch. Touching roofs, anger over drug clinics, crematorium prompt Logan planning review. Here's a picture of the houses touching one another. It's almost comical really, except for the fact that somebody's Australian dream has turned into an Australian nightmare. Here's some houses in neighbouring Redland. Again, houses built so close to one another that they're virtually touching. You can't even fit a person between them. Furthermore, the houses are built so close to the main road that there's no off-road parking in front of your house. There's no curb or guttering. There's no safe place for children to play in the front yard. You basically open your front door and you walk out onto the main road. We've got these small and narrow blocks for sale that can barely fit a house on them, selling for like half a million dollars, and we're being told they're great value. We're getting into more and more debt every year, property is way overpriced, and we're being told that this is the Australian dream. In my opinion, we're not being sold a dream, we're being sold a lie. This is not the Australian dream. This is shit.